people all over the world. Welcome to Onefold, the TV ministry of the Apostolic Church, produced by the Apostolic Church Youth Movement at Kwaibom State Territory. We are a church of Onefold, One Shepherd, and we are super delighted that we are able to roll out this maiden edition, which will feature a procession unto God because it was Don Mon who said, Press loose good on God. So why don't you join us as we press God together and immediately after that we move into the word segment where the powerful word of God will come to meet you at the center of your need and then we pray together. For if there is a man to pray, there is a God to answer. Why don't we pray together? Immediately after that, we're going to have the new segment where we have the reports, the apostolic reports and bring you updates with happenings in the apostolic church in our Kwaibom State Territory. Stay tuned as we roll to the next segment. Happy viewing. gentlemen viewers all over the world I thank God and indeed it is quite fascinating to come your way through these means that we might share in the word of the Lord I'm going to read and examine a familiar portion of the scriptures and that is in Obadiah chapter 1 verse 17 I am reading Obadiah chapter 1 verse 17 the Bible says but upon Mount Zion, there shall be deliverance, and there shall be holiness, and the house of Jacob shall possess their possessions. It shall be so for you in Jesus' name. Amen. This message is from God directly himself through Obadiah. And the Bible says, that upon Mount Zion there shall be deliverance and there shall be holiness and the children of Israel shall possess their possession. I am speaking on the topic, possessing your possessions. In this season and in this year 2020, the Lord has declared unto everyone that you shall possess your possessions. I want us to examine how we can possess our possessions. And I want you to write most of these things down, never to forget them. Number one way to possess your possession is what I term possession by seeing. Possession by seeing. You cannot possess 
you cannot have certain things if you cannot see. Visibility is one of the greatest things the Lord has bestowed in man. That you can easily possess anything if you have the capacity to visualize that thing. If you have the capacity to see that thing. The Bible says in Genesis chapter 13 from verse 14 to 15. And the Bible instructs Abraham. Abraham, now that Lot has been separated from you, look northward, eastward, southward, westward. Whatever you can see, you can possess. If you can see, there is a possibility to possess. If you can see, there is a possibility to have. See, most of the problems we have is that we cannot see beyond our nose. If you can see marriage, you can have it. If you can see success, you can have it. If you can see prosperity, you can have it. But the greatest thing is your ability to see it. Abraham, Lot has been separated from you. Meaning, Lot theologically means a veil. Meaning, Lot was covering Abraham and could not allow Abraham to see. That was why it seemed as if Abraham was stunted. It seemed as if Abraham could not grow. But the Bible says, I am going to separate you from Lot today. And when Lot was separated, hear me somebody, under the sound of my voice, anybody that was covering you, anybody that was covering your marriage, anybody that was covering your destiny, shall be lifted now. See, so many people are suffering today because people are covering you. Abraham, what can you see? See, the prosperity the Lord was talking to Abraham about was there, was right there. But somebody was covering him. If you study the name Lot, L-O-T, theologically, it means a veil or covering. Meaning all the while that Lot was with Abraham, he could not allow Abraham to see beyond his nose. But the Bible says, Abraham, wake up. Can you see your prosperity? If you can see, I can give it to you. Can you see your success? If you can see, I can give it to you. Now the Bible says, Lot was separated from Abraham. I decree to somebody at the end of this sermon, anybody that was covering your destiny, anybody that was covering your marriage, be it a woman, be it a man, be it whoever that was covering your destiny, that person is separated from you now. In the name of Jesus, possess your possessions. And you can do this by seeing. If you can see, you can possess. There are two basic ways to see. Number one, you can see physically. Let me show somebody. If you can see this table and keep seeing this table and keep claiming this table, you can have it one day. Number two way of seeing is spiritual seeing. Two methods of seeing. You can see physically. You can also see spiritually. Now hear me very well. Your vision, your dreams are your spiritual sights. Don't ignore them. They can come to pass. There is a possibility that they will come to pass one day. If you are that person, can I hear your amen? Number two method of possessing possession. Possession by pronouncement. Possession by pronouncement. See, no matter who you are, and no matter how you are highly placed, you need a prophet over your life to speak into your life. See, hear me very well. The Bible says in Numbers chapter 6, verse 26, 26, 27 down, the Bible says, now Moses, tell Herod, let him speak unto my people and say to them, the Lord bless you, the Lord keep you, the Lord promote you. See, until somebody pronounce, until a prophet anointed of the Lord makes a pronouncement, you can have certain things. Until a prophet, the Bible says uh, that by the hand of a prophet, the children of Israel were delivered. Uh, and by the hand of a prophet, 
they will preserve. Hosea chapter 12 verse 13. I came to pronounce to somebody that thing that is far from you. That marriage that is running away from you. That success that is running away from you. By the anointing of God upon my life. I decree by the anointing. I decree by this calling. That thing is coming your way. That possession is coming your way. That success is coming your way. That promotion is coming your way. In the name of Jesus. The third way of possession. Possession by connection. Possession by connection. See, you can't possess certain things until you are connected to the people that matter. Am I talking to somebody? You cannot be, you, see, you cannot have certain things. Have all the connection you want to have. If you are not connected to people that have this table, you may not have it. You got to be connected. See, there is nothing that gave Elisha the mantle except connection. He was in tandem. He was always interfacing with Elijah. Elijah was with a man with the mantle and anybody that needs the mantle must be connected to the man that carries the mantle. And the Bible says, Elijah said to Elisha, can you leave me for one minute? Elisha said to him, I can never leave you because you carry what I want. So, you always have to be cleave to the people that carry the thing. After this sermon, I connect you to people that matter. After this service, by the calling of God upon my life, I connect you to that your partner. That manager, that businessman is looking for somebody like you. And I connect you right now. In the name of Jesus. Another means of possessing possession. Possession by service. Possession by service. Don't forget number one, possession by seeing. Number two, possession by pronouncement. Number three, possession by connection. Number four, possession by service. Is there anybody that needs honor? Let him save me. John chapter 12 verse 26. If you need God to honor you, if you want to possess honor, if you want to possess dignity, if you want your beauty to come out, save the Lord. You can only save. You are singing in choir keep singing you are a woman in the church keep going to church you are a player in the church keep playing the more you save the more you possess there are certain things you can't have until you save that office until you service the office you cannot have what is in that office can somebody hear me at all if you are going to save from today Get ready to possess uh, because there is possession in service. Can I hear somebody's amen? amen? Another method of possession possession by sacrifice. You have to let go what you have to gain more. Let go what you have. You have the voice to sing, you can play. Please do it uh, because the more you release what you have, that is sacrifice. The more you have what you want. Uh, see, certain possessions cannot be given to you until you are able to sacrifice. What am I talking about? Jesus was a sacrificial lamb from the father. The father needed to possess the whole world. So he released Jesus. As he released Jesus as a sacrifice, he was able to gain the whole world. Please hear me very well. If you have a little to contribute in the church, if you have a little to affect somebody's life positively, please do it because you are doing what we call sacrifice. And there is great possession in sacrifice. Can somebody hear me at all? As you leave this service, as you continue to sacrifice in affecting people's life positively, get it well and get it right. Possession of great things are coming your direction. Amen. Can I hear your loud most? Amen. Amen. There are certain things that can hinder someone from possessing. And number one is sin. Run away from sinful life. Number two, 
is oppression. If you are sitting on people's possession, you will never have it. If you are sitting on people's marriage, you will never marry. If you are sitting on people's promotion, you will never possess promotion. Am I talking to somebody at all? So one of the ways with which you, you can possess your possession easily is to let others live. There is an adage, live and let live. Don't encroach on my rights. Any woman that is struggling with some other person's position, any man that is oppressing people, see, you cannot leave that level. You will remain there forever. But in as much as you let go of people's right and integrity, yours is coming your direction. Can I hear your amen? O oh God of abundance, I come to you with absolute trust. I come with open heart to ask for help. In your house, there are many good things kept for us, your believers. I pray today, let me possess what is mine. Let me take possession of what you have kept for me. I rebuke any force, human or spiritual, that rises to stop me from taking over my possession. I come against any hindrance on my way to take what is rightfully mine. Prepare a table for me in the presence of my enemies and let my possession not be taken away. In Jesus' name. in the Apostolic Church Nigeria kickstarts. First class graduates earns Apostles honor. The newly created fields within the Choir State Territory have resumed functions at leadership level. The fields, Atinan and Ikono, created from Uyo and Iko Igbene fields respectively, are led by Apostle Dr. S.A. Isaiah and Apostle G.U. Akpakwan. The proclamation of the new fields came into effect on May 1st, 2020. The territory has given birth to twin. Kasawa Sechava Territory Me. Territory Me Mandi Toiba. These twin babies of this territory, the first one was born by Uyo Field. Anybody who has a child who doesn't grow, will he be happy? Uyofid has given birth to 18 and Fid. And the Lord has helped the team to submit these officers to lead this new and young field. Pastor Samuel A. Isaiah, PhD is a superintendent. The next field that was created is called Econo Field. Eco Field, Econo Field. The field superintendent is Apostle Godwin Odo Akpapa. In a bid to reward and celebrate academic excellence, the Apostolic Church Nigeria, acquired in their territory, have began honoring students who back first class honors in universities around the world. The first beneficiary, Emedion Kalumba, who backed first class honors on pharmaceutical science from Greenwich University, United Kingdom, was honored by the national president of the church, Apostle Dr. S. E. Igwe in Rio, who presented a cash prize on behalf of the church in Aquarium State Territory. Um, this territory, in their goodwill, I'm presenting this token. Um, presented by this to her, God bless you. Praise the Lord. Amen. And first of all, I want to thank God for this opportunity, for the grace he gave me to achieve that result, because I did not do it by my own will. It was through the grace of God. And also, I'd like to thank the church authority for this novelty idea. 
I would like to use this medium to encourage the youth of the church to be focused on their studies. They should shun cultism because that will only bring shame to them, their family, and to the church. And lastly, I would like to thank my loving parents, Mr. and Mrs. Kalumba, for what they've done for me. Thank you very much. Welcome, welcome back. I'm glad to know you're still there. Without the you, there is no me. I'm so glad that you are having confidence with us to so still stay tuned to this moment. I believe you had prayed and I can assure you that God has heard your prayer. Your answer is coming right at your doorstep. Why don't you say amen? We are moving to the next segment of the program and it's going to be a wonderful segment where we introduce the gifted mind, a wonderful young dynamic gift of God to our generation. I'm talking about our own brother, David Godwin. He might be little today, but he's great. He's just a great asset to our generation. Immediately after his interview segment, we are going to move straight to the next segment of the program where we call Youth Reflection. We are going to have opportunity where the youth will interact and aid their mind. This is the generation of the youth. Stay tuned. God bless. David Godwin Udo. I am from Ekorabasi local government area, Kwaiwam State. I worship at the Apostolic Church Ovim Assembly in Uyo, Kwaiwam State Territory. I am passionate about playing keyboard. In 2015, when we had a Sunday school rally, after the rally, the cameraman went to see the Sunday School Authority said that he would love to train some children how to play keyboard. And so my father came and told me whether I would love to play keyboard and I told him yes, I would love. So as the training went on, we were eight in number and four were screened out and the four people remained now went on the training till we reached the end. I feel inspired when I play keyboard. As a child, I'm always happy when people celebrate me for playing keyboard. My dream is to perform on bigger platforms, nationally and internationally. I encourage other young people to learn and develop a skill to the glory of God and the benefit of humanity. It's no news that in a man's life that the rainy days will come. And when that period comes knocking, how do you handle that period? Do you save at all? Do you save when you have little or when you have enough? I am Hope Hezekiah and this is Youth Reflection. Let's find out from people if saving when you have more or saving when you have less is preferable. Do you love saving when you have more or when you have less? No, I prefer saving when I have more. Yeah. yeah. Why? Okay, um, when you have more, it obvious that you could have a lot of yeah. stuff to do, like things to buy and things you need. Okay. And I would prefer to save more that time because I could only go for the essential ones, the stuff that I could need at that very moment. Okay. Then for the non-essential ones, I could just cut them off, then save the money I have. Prefer saving when you have more. Yeah, I prefer saving when I have more. Thank you very much. Do you prefer saving when you have more or when you have less? I prefer saving when I have more. Why? Because when you have more, you may be careless. So it's good to say when you have more. Okay. So that even though you don't have or you have less, you have that mind that they say save. Okay. Do you like saving when you have more or when you have less? Mm, I think I like saving when I have less. Why? It helps me economize my budget. Okay. It helps me get to know 
my priority because I would like to go for the most important. But actually, when I'm having more, I, 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 I don't think I can actually, you know, save when I have more. So but you're actually advising us to save when we have less. Yeah, definitely. All right, thank you. Thank you to you. There is this saying that goes thus. A little drop of water makes a matter doesn't matter even if you have much or little to say. At least you have something. You have something you can pick from and just keep. So you can fall back from it and really do Saving actually covers up for people. Yeah. Saving actually do. Do you like saving when you have more or when you have less? Yeah, I like saving when I have more. Why? Because when I have more, I will do my normal expenditures and also keep some for my savings. Okay. Then if I have less, I won't be able to save because it's not even enough for enough me to for save. You. Okay. Yeah. So you prefer saving when you have more? Yes. yes. Okay. Thank you very much. Yeah. You've heard it all. As beautiful as it is, saving, it's good. Whether you have enough or whether you have little, at least have something to keep somewhere. It's nice having you with us today. I still remain Hope Hezekiah. I'm so happy that you've been patient enough to stay with us till this moment. I'm so happy you've made us a great company. And if you want to be a part of our program, please feel free to contact us through the number on your screen or come to our headquarter office, the Apostolic Church, Akwaibom State Territory, Headquarters 61 Obimo Street, Uyo, Akwaibom State. We are grateful that you have been with us till this moment and don't you ever forget that Jesus is coming again. Please stay tuned till we meet again next week. Bye-bye.